Okay, so a few people asked how I do my cards. So here is me showing how I do my cards. I couldn't find an AI voiceover, so you're going to have to put up with my voice, which is not the greatest. I don't like the sound of it. But until I find something better, um, here we go. So first of all, I use Midjourney to find my images. I have a few that I've saved which are similar to what I'm trying to get on the card. You can use any regular image, but these seem to come out nicer and easier. Um, I do sublimation too, so you'll see some, <laughs> some colourful sublimation images that I've tried. Um, so yeah, a huge part is looking through mid-journey and other AI generated images find something I like. So I found this image and thought I'd give this one a go. I think it will come out pretty good on the card. Um, if you want to pause it, you've got the generated uh, the prompt that generated the image. So now that I have it, this is called Gigapixel. And this is basically just software that does very well at um, enlarging images and also tweaking them a little bit just to make them a little bit smoother or a little bit clearer so you can use it to, to fix older images and, and stuff like that. It works most of the time. Um, it's not free, um, but it is good. Um, so I'm now putting it in this gigapixel just to uh, see the image size, which you can see down the bottom, um, if I pause it, you can see that it's, it's currently uh, 1800 by 2500 pixels. It, in the groups, it, it's it's been not really a, a set in stone, but people say try to keep your images above 2000 pixels just to get that that quality that you want. So. I'm going to change it in a second to double the size and also look at these different um, tweaks that the system does. You have standard in the top left, you have very compressed, then you have low resolution uh, and standard in the bottom right. You'll see me change it as there's a few options on the right hand side that I can change it to where it gives you a little bit of a different output from Gigapixel and um, yeah. See me, I double the size. The tweaks that it does can be very subtle um, and they can be very uh, good. Uh, so you can zoom in just to see uh, what the system's doing. It's smoothing out the skin, um, taking away blemishes. It, it does have a uh, face recovery and um, changing the gamma. So it, it does a lot of little subtle changes uh, to the image. So this is me just zooming in to have a look at what it does. As you can see, like the top left, the standard, um, you can still see that it's quite pixelated on the skin. And below that, with the low resolution, it's smoothed it out a little bit. It's a bit softer. You can see in the bottom right with the art and CG that it's, it's made it a little bit more punchy. Um, so I wanted to go with a low resolution and this happens to me sometimes with this software. I don't know why and I cannot find an answer, but I go to save it and it does nothing. It, it doesn't save, it just stays in processing. Um, I'm not the only one that has this issue, but I haven't found a solution for it. Maybe because I haven't paid for another year's subscription uh, for updates, I don't know. Um, so I go back and I choose my, my second favorite one, which is the Art and CG, and this one saves fine. Um, so now I've got my um, enlarged image. This is GIMP. Um, I have Photoshop, but I don't have a way of copying what I've learned to do in GIMP over to Photoshop. So I still use GIMP. 
GIMP is free, so it's it's perfect for anybody. Um, this is just a saved template of the size of a card. So any images I, I can bring in and, and rescale to the size that I need to be perfect for my cards. I, I usually make the scale just slightly bigger than the card. So um, I believe it's 87 millimeters by 56. Um, so it just, just overscales the card so I don't get a black line on either, either side or the top in, in case I haven't lined it up with my laser properly. Um, so all I'm doing now is I bought in the image, I'm just resizing it to the size of my card. It doesn't fit exactly, but I don't want to squash it or anything like that. So I'm just lining it up so the majority of the image that I like is within the card. And then what I'll do is I tell the system to cut off anything outside of the template. So now is, I guess, the magic part. This is the, even though it's a black and white image, this desaturation technique, which I haven't seen in any other program, which I wish Photoshop had, it seems to um, not just desaturate, but it, I'll let you see what it does. <laughs> I can't explain what it does, but I'll let, I'll let you see. So I'm using color to gray and it works very fast. It doesn't look very good at this, but I changed to a preset where all I've done is I've taken the radius samples and iterations. I've bumped them right up to the, close to the end of the bars and increased uh, and ticked the enhanced the shadows. Um, you can increase them as much as you, can, you like or as much as your computer can handle but the the, the higher you increase them the more um, it's going to take of your computer to actually go through it as you can see um, once I bumped them up it, it goes quite slow going through the process in comparison to what it just did now So as you can see, it's 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 giving it more punch. Um, the the shadows are darker. Um, the uh, the the quality of the image is really popping out, and that's what I like about this color to gray. And I've not been able to replicate it in Photoshop, so I continue to do it in uh, GIMP. As you can see, it goes from like a, a flat gray to a, a punchy black and white. So now I'm just going through just a bog standard denoise, then a sharpen. And that is literally all I do with 99% of my cards. There's, there's not much to it at all. Um, so next it will be on to light burn and my settings so here we are in light burn i'll just pause it here um i've already imported the image i've lined it up on my laser these are my settings um, I, I get my settings from being in Facebook groups, just following other people that are doing cards. You've got Nicky Norton, who uh, is very big on experimenting and, and trying different things. But this is what I got with my settings and how I get my results. So um, sometimes I'll play with the DPI. Um, if the image is too washed out, 
I'll lower the DPI. If it's too dark, I'll raise the DPI. If you really want to get into the nitty gritty part, you can get a, uh, a microscope and, and really look at the, the burnt pixels on the card to see if they're touching, if they're far apart, how well um, the laser is doing uh, and, and get your DPI from that. So um, I don't use pass through because I didn't dither the image uh, in a separate program. So I'm asking Lightburn to do the dither and the image mode, which is the dither um, I like is Stucky. So um, what I was saying, the, the, the scan angle I use 90%, which means in my orientation, it, it goes up and down the length of the card. I found that this way um, there's less chance of the heat making the card curl upwards um, as they're only 0.2 millimeters thick um, with enough heat. If you're going side to side, the laser can make the card heat up and, and curl, which is not what you want. So this is all my settings. Next it'll be onto the laser. I have a homemade enclosure, <laughs> as you can see, nothing fancy, no um, uh, box with acrylic shields or anything like that. It's MDF and uh, aluminium extrusion. What I have in there is a webcam. So instead of having to use glasses and um, all that malarkey to see what's happening inside, I just use the webcam. It's a lot safer to me than um, wearing the glasses and not being able to see properly. So this is the webcam's view. All I need it to do is tell me the thing's working, tell me when it's finished, and that there's no fire in, inside the enclosure. So as you can see, it's now starting to work. These don't take long at all. Um, between three and five minutes. Um, they, they really are fast and they're very easy to make. Um, so next I will add an image using my phone inside the enclosure to get a better view of this, which is now. Um, I've sped it up. This is about, um, I believe, seven times the speed. Um, as you can see, it's it, it's coming out beautifully. And uh, at the very end, I will show an image of this card. And I hope that helps people. And this is exactly what I do all the time. And I'll hopefully do more if people like it. Thank you for watching.